Welcome sa sipnayan.com This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about quadrilaterals. No? And dito sa uh, video na ito, paprove natin that the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular to each other. So, medyo niminar ko na para mabilis. No? Ano ba ibig sabihin itong mga marks na ito? Ang ibig sabihin itong one mark na ito, dito, ang mga uh, sides ng rhombus ay congruent to each other. By definition yan, di ba? Sabi natin na a rhombus is a quadrilateral whose uh, sides are congruent, yung four sides niya. So, this is congruent to this. Uh, AB is congruent to BC, which is congruent to CD, and which is congruent also to AD. No? What else? Ano pang alam natin sa rhombus? Alam din natin na yung rhombus ay parallelogram. So, each diagonal, no? yung diagonal ng rhombus ay bisect each other kasi ang diagonal ng parallelogram bisect each other. So, pag binabisect ng BD ang AC, ibig sabihin, hinahati niya sa gitna. So, AE is congruent to EC. At the same time, yung AC din, binabisect din niya yung BD. Ibig sabihin, DE is congruent to BE. Okay? So, yan yung mga alam natin, di ba? So, gamit yung properties na yan, saka natin naman po-prove that, uh, pwede natin i-prove that uh, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other, no? Kailangan lang natin i-prove na ito ay 90 degrees. No? Ang dalawang yan, kailangan natin i-prove na 90 degrees yung dalawang yan. Okay, so let's have our proof. We have our statement. And we have our reasons. So one, we have AB is congruent to CB. AB is congruent to CB. Ano reason yan? Sorry, statements, reasons. Ang reason yan ay definition of definition of a rhombus. Sabi natin, ang rhombus ay congruent yung side niya. Therefore, yung AB is congruent to CB. Kasi side siya, di ba? Also, Alam din natin that uh, AE is congruent to congruent to CE, di ba? Ano naman yun? Diniscuss natin yun kanina that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So, diagonals of a parallelogram parallelogram bisect each other. Yan yung reason niya. Okay? Number three, alam din natin that uh, alam din natin that BE is congruent to itself. No? BE is congruent to itself. So, this is very reflexive flexible property of congruence, no? So, of course, ang, ang, ang uh, a segment is also congruent to itself, di ba? So, anong meron tayo? Meron tayong three pairs of sides, no? We have, uh, yung first pair natin ay A, B, at saka yan, B, C, which are congruent. And then we have another pair, yung AE, at saka yung C, CE, no? yung pangalawa. And then we have another pair, no? yung BE at saka yung BE. No? BE ng triangle ABE at saka yung BE ng triangle BCE. No? So, nagpapatong siya or, of course, it's, it's uh, the, same, uh, the same segment, but... Uh, belongs also to both triangles. So, ano yan? Side. Ito yung side niya ay corresponding dito sa side. This side is corresponds to this side and this side corresponds to itself. So, by SSS congruence, no? Triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CB. CB, no? This is by SSS congruence. Ang reason niya. 
So, alam natin that, of course, if uh, they are congruent, ano ang, ano ang corresponding angle ng AEB? No? Tingnan yung angle na yan, ay meron siyang blue tsaka meron siyang green. So, ito ang corresponding angle niya, yung BEC, di ba? So, angle AEB is congruent to, to angle uh, BEC. No? So, AEB, oh sorry, tra uh, angle angle AEB AEB is congruent to angle CEB. No? Because they are corresponding angles. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Are congruent. But what do we know about congruent uh, triangles? Uh, congruent angles. Ibig sabihin, the measure of angle, pag congruent siya, equal yung measures, di ba? So, Ibig sabihin nito, measure of angle angle AEB is equal to the measure of angle anong ano niya? Measure of angle C, CB I'm oh, sorry, CEB Measure of angle CEB so, ibig sabihin, ito ay congruent silang dalawa. ba? Itong angle na to, yung dalawang yan. But we also know, anong reason ito? Uh, what else? Congruent, congruent angles. Pag congruent angles sila, which is here, have equal measures. Have equal measures. So, pag congruent sila, equal yung measure nila, kaya naging equal. But we know that, uh, ano alam natin? We know that measure of angle AEB plus or measure of angle AEB Sorry, sorry. Hindi siya measure, kundi angle AEB and angle CEB are supplementary. Bakit? Bakit sila supplementary? Di ba linear pair sila, no? di ba? Linear pairs are supplementary. So, yung mga angle na linear pairs ay supplementary. Supplementary. So, ano mangyayari sa kanila? Pag, pag supplementary, ibig sabihin ito, 1, 180, di ba? Uh, sum is 180, di ba? Meaning sum is 180 degrees. No? So, hindi na natin, dapat another statement ito, no? But, but, uh, shortcut na lang natin kasi medyo wala tayong space. Pag sum nila is 180, tapos equal sila, ibig sabihin, measure of angle A plus measure of angle AEB is equal to measure of angle CEB which is equal to 90 degrees. No? Okay, so this is just by division, di ba? So yung 180, this is by division. Yung 180, divide mo lang sa 2 kasi uh, sila ay congruent. Measure nila ay equal. So, here, ibig sabihin, tong angle na to, this angle is 90. This is also 90. Therefore, perpendicular yung angle na yan. Uh, perpendicular yung diagonals. Therefore, B 